Hello YouTubers, I'm going to do a quick review today of my smartphone watch which I've been using every day pretty much for the last two years. The reason it's taken me so long to get around to showing it to you is because uh, I'm excited that I've got a replacement watch, kind of an upgrade arrived today. This is the watch I've been using, it's a Vaperius, um, currently running Android 2.2 Froyo. Um, not able to upgrade it unfortunately because of the processor restrictions it's an MTK 6516 processor single core um, does the job very well for its small screen which is a 2 inch screen 320 by 240 resolution uh, it runs everything that an Android phone would normally run pretty much um, as long as it supports frozen yogurt 2.21 Android so I've got a few applications on here um, most useful of which is probably Android Assistant, the voice assistant down here. Um, so you don't have to do that much typing as a keyboard is obviously very small on this. It is a standalone watch, so it's got its own SIM card, um, it's got a camera, 2 megapixel camera, uh, GPS, Wi Fi. Um, so it's, for all intents and purposes, it is a proper, proper Android phone, just that you wear it on your wrist. Um, as I said, it's also got GPS on it, and I found the best sat-nav program for this is actually uh, iGo. There's the list of the programs. I used to ha have lots of uh, apps on here, but uh, um, it was starting to bog the phone down, as it's only got, uh, I think, 300 meg of ROM and about 200 of RAM. So um, it's enough for, for the job. For basic applications, it's good enough. So I'll just show you the GPS here on, on my phone watch. The speaker is down the bottom, along with the microphone hole just here, um, and the camera is just there, sort of facing outwards, assuming you're left-handed, or right-handed rather, and wear it on your left wrist. The way you charge this and sync it with your PC it's quite original actually, you do it through the strap so that's convenient if you don't have a USB cable with you you can just stick it in any uh, laptop or PC and uh, and away you go so there's no um, microphone, uh, no um, uh, headphone output on here, no 3.5mm output jack or anything like that uh, which is a bit of a downside um, although it does have an FM radio in theory which is why I can pick up um, traffic on the iGo Primo GPS uh, app. It does take a little bit of a while to, to warm up. I've currently got a, a 32 gig uh, micro SD card in here which uh, runs very nicely. So there we have the sat nav slowly acquiring a signal. Uh, obviously we are indoors so it's going to take a little bit longer but you get the gist so that's the watch I've been using pretty much every day never let me down always starts uh, uh, quickly uh, battery life is about um, I'd say just over a day on standby obviously if you're using Wi-Fi Bluetooth and got GPS running it's <laughs> you're probably looking about an hour or so um, all be told so it's um you know it, it it's not really that good in terms of um, you know if you're planning to go away the answer is really just to have a spare set of batteries which is what I've got so okay let's just come out of the GPS and I'll just show you some of the other apps I've got on here oops should be exiting any minute now ah just there we go so I've slimmed the apps right down on here uh, for the purposes of um, saving some of the valuable storage um, obviously I've got calendar on here sky um, Epson eye printer print wirelessly, email obviously, um, 
on the desktop here um, you might want to try a different launch on here so I, I think the best one for this would be Nemus which I used to run on here it's got a very small a footprint of a few hundred K um, and of course you've got then got scrollable widgets and widgets that you can resize and overlap and all that sort of stuff I've, again I've trimmed all that sort of stuff down uh, purely for speed and um, I wanted the, uh, the sat nav to run effortlessly um, all the time which it does um, so it's a good idea to keep the apps down to it to as a lower limit as, as what you require but it's got the, the weather on there that's the most essential thing of all uh, camera on the shortcuts there let's just run the camera the camera um, not bad quality actually um, for a, you know a two megapixel camera it um, does the job very well so just to briefly compare it now with my new watch which is an Android 4.1 uh, jelly bean um, uh, watch which has well according to the spec online it has an MTK uh, 65 uh, 6571 or 77 75 65 75 processor which is more powerful still single core um, and size wise it's pretty much the same the box actually says it's an MTK 6516 processor um, which is kind of confusing um, and also um, the specification for ROM and RAM seem to be different to what's online I haven't powered it on just yet uh, purely because I'm just formatting the um, the 32 gig micro SD card um, so unfortunately I'm, I'll wait for that to do this business and then power it up and show you guys um, I, I'm guessing that's the right way up it's hard to say which way is up and which way is down so assuming that is right and I think it is no it's not immediately you notice the speakers on the top as opposed to the bottom of the old one um, cameras here secluded down there as opposed to on the side there uh, microphone appears to be there the other uh, major difference if I can just get this wrapping off the strap is actually very good very slinky I don't think that's gonna break in a hurry it seems quite hard wearing so that looks like it's right way up and whereas the old Vapirius phone watch had um, the strap as a charging sync cable this doesn't, it appears to have a charging port on the side, it's a standard uh, micro SD port um, similar hardware keys I guess uh, you've got the back keys on the other side uh, menu and home on off power ooh, looks like a blob of glue there on a the strap or something, oh well um, so I think that's the right way up, what I'll do is I'll format the SD card charge the baby up and let it run um, so far quite impressed as the battery looks absolutely identical to its predecessor which is great because I've got some spares of those if I just pop the hood open it's pretty much the same um, full-size sim card uh, port for the micro SD um, so yeah it looks uh, looks good very good Okay, I'll uh, I'll send part two of the video soon with a slightly more detail than you'll watch. Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention uh, that what you get in a box, apart from the phone, is the um, USB stroke sync cable, which is a standard uh, micro SD to normal USB type cable, which is great. It's ubiquitous. Um, a set of headphones again with a micro SD connector I'm sure the quality won't be that good they never are with the, the boxed up ones that come with the gadget um, annoyingly it comes with a Hong Kong Chinese style uh, charging adapter with USB um, socket that's not a problem as a standard cable that will go into any charger or even uh, into your um, laptop so anyway let's see how we get on with it when we power it up